Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie. I want to thank all my subscribers. The old ones, the new ones, the ones that just keeps coming back because you love what you hear and what you're seeing. If you're not subscribed yet, why aren't you? I see you guys are watching. I see you sharing. It's simple. Just go ahead and click the subscribe button right below. Anyways guys, welcome back. I'm sharing a video y'all from South Africa. And it's really sad. This lady was really, like you can see that she's hurt. But she's saying that the people that are responsible for bringing drugs into South Africa are the foreigners. And I'm guessing the foreigners, when she says foreigners, she's talking about anyone that is outside of South Africa. But remember, a stranger can't enter unless someone there let them in. Let's watch this video and let's comment on it. South Africa. This is my country, South Africa. I hate foreigners and the government is doing nothing. And this is our leading anti-migrant group, Operation Dudu. We cannot be, be undertake by foreign nationals and do nothing about it. Something needs to happen. We are coming for you. This is a local branch meeting of Operation Dudula in Johannesburg. Dudula in Isizulu literally means to force out. They're planning to go to businesses this evening and ask them about their citizenship, get details, contact details with them. And it seems that this is a typical kind of patrol operation that they're doing. The group is looking for the owner of a shop who they say has information about a recent stabbing. You've seen members of Tudula attack people who are even street vendors. We do lose emotions, but it's, it's not that we're saying I promote violence and stuff. We don't do that. We don't promote violence at all. We don't. Zandile Dabula is a founding member of Operation Dudula. Is this the Dudula WhatsApp line? Uh, yeah, this is so how does it work? WhatsApp line. They receive tip-offs about foreign nationals living in social housing reserved for South African citizens. Okay, Demagazo was the voice on the end of the phone just now, and one of Zandile's loyal foot soldiers. Why? Demagazo is a cook at a local college. It's not until she tells me about her son that I realize what's behind the hatred. He started smoking drugs when he was 14 years old. He said it's Krista. Nyawube, Daha, whatever that he gets, that's him. To tell you the truth, I hate foreigners. I hate foreigners and the government is doing nothing. Our kids have turned into zombies. It's all because of them. But I'm wondering why, you know, you said you hate foreigners. Most of them are selling drugs. You can ask my son, he will tell you. I'm thankful to Tudula because Tudula is that's the only thing that keeps me going. A so called Operation Tudula task force is going to confront a local shopkeeper who they say is in a dispute with his landlady over rent. You see, the landlord, Dala. Do you have a relevant document to be here yeah. in South Africa? Where's the papers of this business? Bring the papers, put the papers in. The shopkeeper is forced to sign an agreement giving him two months to leave the premises. This is vigilantism. 
this one. This. You're not a judge, yeah. you're not a policeman, you're not a lawyer, yeah. but you just try to hold a hearing. But since you intervened, you made sure there's a peace. Well, you threatened him and you didn't really give him a real option. Yeah. I was there, so yeah. right? You're not vigilant. He is illegally here. If he was not here, we wouldn't never like have this, uh, this problem. I've come to meet Annie, who's a campaigner for migrant rights. Don't worry, yeah. I'm not going to yeah. show your face. Yeah. They destroyed all my clothes. When was this? On Sunday. What did they do to the clothes? They put it in, in this gutter. What did they say? You must go to Nigeria. We are the donors. We are South Africa. I vote in this country. I'm a citizen here. If I'm doing something illegal, fine. Go to me. I'm doing illegal thing. Now you make my life miserable. I cannot pay my rent. What did I do? Current polling suggests support for the African National Congress, the party in power, could fall below 50% for the first time. Operation Dudula wants to fill that vacuum. It has decided to become a political party to contest next year's general election. Hundreds of people have traveled from across South Africa to attend today's conference. The clothing, the songs, and their chants all communicate a readiness for battle. But here, it's a war against migrants. We know you. In June, Zandile Dabula was appointed its president. You've managed to gain a following on the singular message that foreigners must go. And once illegal foreigners or all foreigners are gone, their problems will go away. Is that not running on hate? OK, so we, we must be realistic here that most of the problems that we have are caused by the influx uh, of foreign nationals. I'll be honest with you, in some instances, we need to really be harsh. We don't promote violence and we don't want people to feel harassed. But I'll tell you that at some stage we really need to push harder because it, it's an honest truth. These people have attitude and they are very rude. We cannot be, be under attack by foreign nationals and do nothing about it. Something needs to happen. But it will be sorted out. Operation Dutula will be in power. <laughs> I went on this journey to learn more about the kind of people who would join a group like Operation Tudula. I realized that a lot of them are just like the people from back home, people I know, people from my neighborhood. Scapegoating foreigners is not going to fix the drug issue. Okay guys, what did you guys think? Sadly, this drug epidemic is going on all over. It's not just South Africa. It's not just West Africa. Drug is turning young people into zombies. Take a look at the youth on the streets. They are trapped. They walk only to buy drugs, nothing else. Trust me. They call it kush. Dried leaves mixed with a cocktail of chemicals. I saw something crazy going on in Senegal. And seeing how these guys are also on drugs. And also in East Africa. It's not a physical place. It has no borders. It's rather an hallucination, inhabited by tens of thousands of kids. A dark, obscure and brutal place, hidden inside many plastic bottles. If you open them and sniff what's inside, you'll wake up in a world of zombies. And also in the Congo. So, it's not just South Africa, my dear. And if you want to come to the United States, Says 
the new Los Angeles. New shit that came out that keeps you high for a very long time. It's called Trang, animal tranquilizer. They're putting into drugs now. If you do too much of it, it'll take your breath, your air. You <sighs> seen one guy down, thought he was dead. Trang. Also known as xylazine, is an animal tranquilizer proven deadly for people, and it's making its way across American cities. Come and see the drug epidemic here, or even go to Canada to Vancouver to learn how to administer the life-saving drug naloxone when someone is overdosing. The numbers they're showing that it's not getting any better. Uh, it's staggering to see the elevation in the amount of overdoses that we're seeing still. And it's record numbers. In one day alone, in March, the BC Ambulance Service received 205 overdose calls. It's now averaging 120 calls a day. At first it was just fentanyl that was on the street, but now we're seeing the fentanyl and it's mixed with a variety of other substances. Often making it much more talk. My dear, it's not just South Africa. Guys, I'm not sure how we can all get together to fight this drug epidemic but it is real and if you have a family member that is on drugs my heart goes out to you guys my prayer goes out to you guys if you have a family member that's going through anything like this it is really really sad because there's too many young people you know lives are lost because of this and sometimes the people that you know that brings it to you and not a stranger a stranger can only can do so much but someone next door is the one that's causing it to happen because of greed. They don't look at the damage they're causing in their communities. They just look at how much money they can make. But can they truly sleep at night? Anyways, guys, leave your comments below. Know that Tony loves and appreciates you guys. And welcome back.